Hey everybody, uh, so this is Pritoji over here and today we are gonna work on the acrylic boring. As we had discussed that I'm gonna do a tutorial. So this is here finally. First of this, this is a primed canvas and just in case you don't have one, we have this. This is a gesso, okay. Uh, you can use it, uh, it's a Liquidex professional. I usually use it uh, 24 hours before I have to start doing my paintings. But just in case you have a primed one and you're in a hurry and you don't want to you know, apply it and waste your time, that's also perfectly okay, that should also work. But if you do not have a primed canvas, please go for it, okay? All right, then next you can see that I have taped my canvas. This is a very important step because I don't want all the puddle going on back of my canvas. And you can see my cups over here. This is necessity because I don't have a stand. Uh, it's a homemade recipe you can say. Okay, then I've already mixed the colors. So let me introduce you to the colors. Okay, you can see over here. See the consistency. Okay, so this is actually little birdie acrylic pouring paint and this one is a berry blush I've used and I have mixed it with Bruce Rose pouring medium. This one has a perfect um, amount of say high gloss amount you can say. Uh, I always try to get glossy finish on my acrylic pourings so that's uh, what this helps. I also have one another uh, this one little birdie paint pouring medium. This gives the same uh, finish just like the Brewstro one but um, I had a very small amount of this left and that's why I use the Brewstro one now. Okay so uh, the next color that I would be using is this and this just lovely. Oh I love it yeah uh, and this is little birdies pineapple crush uh, these pouring paints are actually amazing by little birdie i really prefer them okay the next one over here is actually a golden color which i had mixed it doesn't look golden right now uh, when i show you maybe i don't know if you can see it yeah and this is going to give certain hints of golden touch throughout the pouring and for this i have used the antique gold from camel i did not have a golden shade from little body so i used this then okay so this one is gonna be a little funny yeah uh, it looks like a ketchup bottle but uh, i have mixed white paint in it i'll show you Uh, I'm not sure if you can see but white paint is in this uh, along with the pouring medium and uh, again I've used white color from Camel. This is the titanium white. Um, I usually use whites in my acrylic pores so I maintain a big bottle and when it's in a bottle there's a high chance that it will not just dry up because in cups it's obviously uh, one dry up so just to keep it maintained throughout I keep white in bottles okay then you might have noticed a certain oily uh, look I'm not sure if you can see these bubble kind of things they are not actually bubbles because I have removed all the bubbles from the paint while mixing you have to make sure that you're mixing uh, it very slowly and you're not frisking it so that the bubbles are not created this one actually has the silicone uh, oil which i use this one uh, i have been using it for so long i wanted to create cells and that's the reason i have mixed uh, silicone oil in all of my paints except the white and the consistency for each of the paints is same uh, they do not differ 
okay so before i start i wanted to let you know about one more product let's talk about that okay this is bruce rose gloss varnish and it's awesome for your acrylic paintings if you don't want them to um, you know dry up or crackle uh, later on or get destroyed later on so once your uh, entire painting has totally dried up I mean it once it has totally dried up uh, use it with a brush on your painting and it'll also give a glow it's a varnish obviously uh, and it'll also maintain the you know mm, life expectancy we can say for your painting okay all right then we are now going to get started but before i do that i'm gonna wear my gloves just give me a second it takes time <laughs> okay all right all right see all right uh, i'm gonna wear it on my other hand also i don't like my hands getting dirty uh, while doing the paint because it is bound to get dirty especially when I'm going to try and spread the paint throughout my canvas and just in case you want to know these are the ones that I use uh, it came in a pack of 100 gloves and uh, I got it from Amazon and uh, it wasn't too expensive also so it is a good shopping for gloves all right uh, so now we are going to get started because I think already the video has gone too long for just me speaking. <laughs> Alright. Hair is a uh, empty glass. Okay, so you might be wondering why I am using such dirty glasses. Uh, main reason being, I don't like to use uh, bio, th those plastic or paper cups because I don't want to waste material. Uh, these cups are perfectly okay for me. You can't remove acrylic paint from them ever i've tried a lot so let's start we'll start with the white paint and we are going to add the paint into the cup okay here goes our berry crush I'm kind of just wondering it's very right oh very, very blush not crush it's pineapple crush okay here we go with the pineapple crush oh you can see the dollop of yellow coming up in that i don't know if you can see it but see yeah okay we go with a touch of golden now Again, I'm gonna add white. You can add it in any uh, format you want to. It's not a necessity that you have to add it just the way I am. You can swirl. You don't have to add it from one side only. Swirling is a good thing. See, it gives a good texture. going in again I'm not really sure how this one is going to turn out let's see uh, we don't need too much of paint actually but I'm pouring in just in case because I like to have a thicker layer on my canvas. Uh, thin layers uh, tend to crackle up in, in the end and start showing white spaces uh, in the background. I don't like that. So that's the reason I'm adding too much of paint but uh, it's your wish if you want to keep it light also. Okay. 
all right so i'm going to do a puddle board today i sometimes try doing other methods as well i have uh, earlier put on different videos but today i'm going to do a puddle board which is the simplest one it's the best one to start with but we don't want the puddle board to go haywire so make sure that you are taking it slow and you will see the patterns form okay let's start in the center Oh yeah. I can see such beautiful colors coming up. Dude, I'm loving this. There's a reason I love acrylic pour so much. Okay. So I've used up my paint. Oh oh oh. I don't want it to go start going. It has started going because it's too much. It's already leaking from one side. But you can see the cells have already started forming and I'm going to start moving it now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want the center design to just run off so I'm going to try to keep it somewhere in the middle only okay yes I understand if you think that we are wasting a lot of paint but <laughs> we don't have other option <laughs> let's see go 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 okay I like the way the cells are forming and the way this is coming up okay and if you're worried about the sides you can actually pick up paint from the sides and make sure your corners are covered take up paint from down on the there okay and make sure your sides are covered up yep there we go okay so i want the cells to form so i'm gonna quickly remove my gloves at least one glove because i have to pick up my torch <sighs> Here we have the gun. And you can see that the cells are actually forming. I'm not going to concentrate it on one area too much. I think it's enough. The cell formation is enough. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I hope you can see how beautiful it looks. I want to show you a close up. Let me try. Uh, let me try to get your close up see the cells have formed and they're looking pretty good all right then this was the class <laughs> kind of tutorial uh, this one is a first one for me at such a full fledged and i hope you guys liked it and you can drop in your uh, views and comments and if you want me to change it in some other way all right then bye bye